So guys, if you haven't seen the first video, make sure that you click on that link that's up there or in the comment area below that's going to give you the original video of the solution to solving the need. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, some of the file types that I have in here. So I'm going to go into my files and I have a couple files. So I have raw files, I have JPEGs, I also have uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I also have PSDs and I have an MP4. I'm hoping that that covers all of the different file types that you guys have been asking. Uh, really it comes down to having an application that supports the file type. Now there are certain things that you can and cannot copy um, onto the, the actual the device itself. So I'm going to stay away from those because again the whole point is to really uh, maximize using this off, um, offline storage uh, when expanding the storage capacity of your iPad. So first thing we're going to do is let's look at some of the pictures here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap this picture. Now this is a picture I took in uh, St. Augustine. This is a uh, an actual JPEG. This was actually taken with the Google Pixel 3 XL. Look at how gorgeous this this background is, how everything looks here. So Nold and I are here and you saw how easy it was. Now over here on the side, if you choose this, what you can do is you can open this photo up in Procreate. You can open it up in, again, in the albums. You can go to the Mafusion. Also, if you go there's you know several other options that you can enable anything that will support this type of photo you'll be able to bring it over so that is uh, one option and because it's a JPEG you're going to be able to copy it without a problem make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available so now let's look at a, uh, a raw file. So I'm going to click on this and you're going to notice that it's going to say that there's no application that supports it. So this is what you do with this. So you click on it, we're going to press and hold, and then I'm going to do share and I'm going to let it um, go through this process and then I'm going to choose one of the files that I, I know will support raw. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to choose copy to photo and photo is going to go ahead and open uh, that raw file. So we'll give it a second. And now this is a photo that I just took a couple seconds ago of um, this kind of layout. You'll notice uh, here's the file and that was a raw file that opened without a problem. Now let's go ahead and get out of this. Let's rotate this tablet again. Make sure it rotates. Uh, we'll go back into the uh, file manager. Next thing we'll do is we'll look at an Excel file. So I'm going to choose that. Actually let's get out of this for a second. We'll cancel that. We'll go now to the Excel. It's going to do the same thing. Remember, I do have the option. Uh, in this case, uh, the application has a preview, but I can also then click on that little button up there and then open it up in Excel. Uh, and this is going to be standard Excel. So if I do this, I can find over here Excel. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And it would work. So we're going to hit done here. If I look at this doc, which is kind of like a script that I was doing for uh, a Toyota review, here is the my script. And then again, if I choose this right here, I can open this up in Word, I can open it up in Notepad, I can open it up in any of the applications that are available. So that is something that I could do as well. If I look at PowerPoint, now the PowerPoint viewer on this application is a little bit slow. It's not as fast as you know the videos. But the same thing would happen here. Uh, once again, uh, I could have gone to the share immediately, right, select it and then share, or I can click here and then actually see the preview, but I just want to show you both options. So, all right, so here is um, the share, the, that view, uh, or once again, I could have just selected it, press and held, and then I could have done share, and then it's going to go through the process and then show me the applications that are available for sharing. I'm going to cancel that because I'm not going to put it in there. So you saw how we've gone through each one of these apps. Last thing we're going to do, um, or actually before last, we're going to choose the PSD because that was another question you guys asked. You notice it has a little question mark because it doesn't know what's associated with. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to choose share. I'm going to give it a couple seconds and find an application that's going to be able to deal with that uh, specific uh, PSD. So that's a Photoshop file. And now here is, uh, oh, I have a couple files open. That's why. Uh, it opens without a problem. Let me go ahead and close this and we'll try it again. All right, so I went ahead and cleared that up. We're going to select the file again. We're going to do the share and we'll wait for it to go through the process of uh, loading it. And then I'm going to choose again the application. And we're going to go to photo. It's going to launch photo, affinity photo. And now what we'll do is it's going to open up again. This is my PSD with layers. So this is a Photoshop created file that 
opened up without a problem on the iPad. All right, so now the last file type that we're going to take a look at is going to be um, actual an MP4. And click on that, and you notice it just it just runs. So this is an actual old video for uh, Note 7 uh, that I had done uh, a while, while ago, so you can tell that. So hopefully uh, this helps answer um, all your questions on the file types. It really comes down to two things. Um, if you cannot copy it onto the operating system because the uh, Apple doesn't allow it, the operating system doesn't allow it, you can share it. But you need to make sure that the application that you're sharing to will support the file type. And if that's the case, you're solid, your goal in there. So make sure that if you have any comments or questions uh, or you'd like to share your experience, please share it on the bottom with everyone. Uh, subscribe to the channel and as always, um, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.